Hi, my name is Nadia. I'm a stitching instructor making videos for the beginners and for those who wants to learn. Today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to sew a rape cutting frog. This is my main fabric. It's a 3 meter long fabric and its width is wide. This is the front side of the fabric. I fold the fabric in a half like this way. Then fold it in a orape shape. Orape means a kind of dress with a slanting cutting. You can see that it has four parts. One, two, three, four. Extra fabric I will remove from the main fabric. First take the total length and that is 50 inches. Length should be measured from this side. After that, take the measurement for shoulders and then take the measurement for armholes. After chest measurement, mark, uh, make a guideline on the marking. After that, make the guideline for side seams. At the bottom, mark a semicircle towards the total length. Now cut the fabric from the main fabric. After cutting, uh, it looked like this. You know that front side shoulder is uh, deeper than back side shoulder. You can see that. After that, make a neckline. I made this kind of neckline. It's up to you. You can make any other neckline as well. After that, uh, I will uh, sew the shoulders with the front side of the shirt and then make a neckline of a back side. You can see that I sewed it. Now it's time to make a front side and back side pleats. Keep your dress like this way and put the measuring tape at the beginning of shoulder and measure towards down. Mark on 11. Pleats length is 9 inches and distance between both pleats is 8.
I sewed front side and back side pleats. You can see that. Now it's time to hem this uh, Ureb dress. After hem, I will embellish it with these uh, laces. I hem it. You can see that. Now it's time to apply a laces on that. It's an optional also. If you don't want to apply a lace, leave it as it is. I saw it. You can see that. Now it's time to uh, sew the side seams. Now it's time to sew the sleeves. I cut it from the center in order to embellish it and make it more beautiful. If you don't want to cut it from the center, it's up to you. I apply a joint lace and after that I will apply a lace uh, on sleeves. For this I take 2 inches wide fabric strip and then apply this strip with the lace in order to sew it easily. Sew it like this way. Now fold this uh, strip towards the wrong side and then hem it. Now apply another lace. It's a top stitch. I sewed it, you can see that. Now it's time to make a fabric cord for button loops. For this I take 5 inches long and 1 inches wide uh, strip and I, then I sewed it. After that I cut uh, 6 uh, 2 inches loops from this strip. After sewed the side seams of uh, this sleeve, I uh, left 3 inches opening for uh, loops and uh, for buttons. First, I fold uh, one side of uh, opening towards the wrong side and uh, another side I attached 3 loops. You can see that. In order to hide the loops stitching, I sewed uh, uh, 1 inch wide and 3 inches long strip. I sewed onto it. You can see that. After sewed that, I attached 3 buttons. You can see that. I sewed it, you can see that, now it's time to sew with the uh, rape uh, frock. I sewed it, you can see that it is completed and ready to wear. Hope you like this video, if you like please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and share this video with your friends and family. Take care, bye bye.